Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and I've got kind of a non-tech related video for you today. Uh, I wanted to talk about one of the knives that I use in a lot of our unboxings. And the reason that I'm mentioning this is because I have had several people ask me about the knife. Um, and I've kind of become very interested in knives over the last year or so. Uh, started kind of collecting a few, and it just became part of my everyday carry, having a good knife on me. Um, now, I don't carry a knife for personal protection or anything like that. I just find that knives are extremely useful in my everyday life for opening packages, for, you know, my kids always have something that they need trimmed off of, you know, a toy or something. Um, I just find myself needing the utility of a knife uh, almost every day. And as it's something that I have to carry or that I like to carry on my person day in and day out, I've decided I just, I want to have a nice knife. And that's kind of led me into really falling in love with some of these knives and finding interesting things about them, wanting better ones and all that good stuff. So this is a zero tolerance knife. Um, this is a zero tolerance combat folder uh, with frame lock. Um, the, the model is uh, 301 or 0301. Um, it has a belt clip right here. Um, very nice knife, opens up very easily and just the frame lock uh, right here brings it back closed. Um, you can open it up by thumb just like that. And then it also has a flipper on the back side. Um, I just, I love this knife because it's a little bit more beefy. It's bigger than, uh, than typically one of the other knives that I carry. This was one of my first ones, this little Kershaw flipper um, that's been well loved. Um, but this knife just, this was one of my first kind of, I'd say, premium knives, and sure, there are more expensive ones out there, um, but this one's just one of the beefiest and kind of nicest knives that I that I have. Um, I love the sound that it makes when it opens. When you flip this knife open, it just, it has a nice click, a nice snap sound to it. Um, the frame lock works really well, holds it very tight. There's no play. Um, it just, it feels good in the hand, regardless of how you're holding it. It's just a nice looking knife. Um, and I love the finish on the metal. I'm still kind of learning and familiarizing myself with um, just the different types of steel, the finishes that they're putting on them um, and all that stuff. But I just, I love the bezel. I love the treatment that they have on the blade. Um, and then uh, just the finish on the handle is very, very nice. It has a very nice grip to it. Um, yeah, it's just a great knife. Uh, and then this is also reversible here if you wanted it to be uh, like right now, it's it's blade down when you store it in your pocket, but if you wanted it to be blade up, you can also flip this around, uh, or maybe if you're left-handed, you can also flip it around to put, if you wanted to store it in your left pocket instead of your right pocket. So very nice knife, uh, just really enjoy this knife. It doesn't fall closed like some of the other knives. It is kind of spring assisted, so as you can see here, um, the spring does assist it in opening. So some of the other knives that I have kind of, you can drop close them. This one uh, does not have that, uh, but it is spring assist, which is one of the reasons that it has that really nice snap noise when it opens. So this, is, this knife uh, I picked up off Amazon. You can see I've used it a bit. It's got, I just used it in an unboxing video a minute ago and the tape uh, on the box had a little bit of orange to it. So I'll probably go and clean up that blade later on today. Uh, but this has been uh, one of my favorite knives, I think. Um, it was one of the, the more premium, first premium knives that I purchased. It just has really good build quality. The blade is nice. It's very tight, very um, mill spec as far as the tolerance is, um, hence the name Zero Tolerance. Uh, I just really enjoy this knife and um, really enjoy carrying it. Also, some knives are opened on the back. This one kind of has, uh, you know, an inlay here. Um, probably just to keep the blade. Uh, the blade does fall in really tight in here. It is a big blade, um, so that probably just protects, allows the blade to come down a little bit closer so you don't catch anything on it. Um, but definitely a nice, definitely a nice folder. Um, and I've been following, falling in love with these, uh, with these folding knives. So for those of you that had questions about it, hope this helped answer, um, a little bit, kind of show you a little bit more about the blade that I use and a lot of our unboxings. Uh, link is in the description below to where you can find out more information about this and pick one up on Amazon if you're interested. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified when we put out new videos. And if you like checking out my blade, make sure to hit that thumbs up. 
Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time here on State of Tech.